back here live again. We're back out the Wild Wings boat ramp. We're down here to where they launch the boats in and out. I'm gonna get out here a second. Okay, this is the boat ramp here at Wild Wings. Man, that is really steep. Look how low that is. You can kind of see the water line right here, where the water line is. So all you guys that launch your boat here in, this, in April and in May during the prime walleye fishing, now you can see what the end of the ramp looks like. Walk down here and make sure there isn't any ice. Got some stuff laying here. So as you can see, I'm standing on the boat ramp down here. You can see how low it is. There's how far down I am. You can see down through the channel of wild wings, the dark colored stones. That's normally where the water line's at. So where I'm standing right now, probably just my head would be sticking out of the water, I would imagine, where I'm at right now. And you can see the road over there. I hope that guy ain't going to put his boat in anywhere. And it is cold. It's like 22 degrees. It's like a 40 mile an hour wind with 50 mile an hour gust up here right now. Okay, we're going to drive on down here to the end by the gas pump. <coughs> I'll put the window down so you get a little better view here. Again, this is at the Wild Wings. Coming up right here to where... Normally get fuel, you can see how low it is. go back around to the other side <coughs> get turned around here we got all the docks out for the year but as you can see, normally where those white posts are, that's where these docks hook on to those posts right there. And normally there would be, uh, eh, they probably go down a little bit, but normally they kind of go straight out or probably have somewhat of an angle down, depending on the, the water level of Lake Erie at any given time. You can just barely see Davis Bessie straight ahead over there. And we got a little bit of a snow squall coming through right now. So now we're gonna just drive. I think I'll just keep the live going. We'll just drive on down and around the other side. 
and we'll go over by the Lake Erie side. We'll go over by the lake so people can see what the Lake Erie looks like right now from the Wild Wings area. Like I said, normally this time of year, or normally in the spring, come April, there would be boat trailers, trucks and trailers lined up all the way down through here, all the way out to the store out here on Route 2. This is probably one of the uh, prime locations for all you uh, hardcore walleye fishermen. All the charter guys keep their boats all docked over here. You can see all the docks. They take the docks out for the winter time so they don't freeze up. This wind is supposed to continue all day today. It is supposed to die down a little bit this afternoon, but I think there's a high wind warning until 10 o'clock tonight. So I don't imagine the water is going to come back into this part of Lake Erie probably until tomorrow morning. And you can see the water line on the other side of the shore over there. So we're coming up to the uh, fish cleaning station here at Wild Wings. They got an area there where you can clean your own fish or you can hire this business here to clean your fish for you. And then the Wild Wings restaurant up here, that was all completely redone. Wild Wings restaurant and bar. It's actually, uh, that, that's super nice on the inside. If you're up this way, it's a nice place to go in and get something to eat. Uh, they got it fixed up uh, really nice on the inside all brand new here within the last year or two. The Wild Wings Campgrounds is right over there. And then right over this way, anybody who's ever been up here walleye fishing Lake Erie, have you ever heard of Sea Breeze Charters? One of the largest uh, charter outfits on Lake Erie. They keep all their boats docked all over here on this side. I put the window down here so you can see. You can see over there just how, how low it is. Uh, I'm not going to zoom in because Facebook Live, when you zoom, then it freezes it and then I have to restart it again. So we're going to go on down and around. Go out by Green Cove. And we'll just have a little, about a five minute ride here back through this area. Green Cove back here, they're basically like a whole bunch of condominium, condominiums. And they, uh, it's a big area, uh, I believe in May, uh, first part of May, uh, the birding sanctuary up here. Um, hundreds of thousands of people come up here in that time of year to go and uh, for the birding. So all kinds of birds migrate through this area that time of year. So a lot of this area up through here gets rented out, Airbnbs. You'll see that area on down here around the corner. That right there is the Wild Wing office. You can see Davis Bessie right behind it. So we're gonna go on down here to the end and I believe this turns into Sand Beach Road and there's some really really beautiful homes that are all along the shoreline down here and uh, when you get a bad nor'easter wind blowing on the northeast then uh, that pushes all of the water from Lake Erie back into here back into this area and these homes back here, um, there'll be waves crashing up and over their rock walls out there. And the whole road will sometimes be flooded or completely underwater uh, from the bad nor'easters. So I don't think we really get this bad of west winds in the summertime because I've never seen it like this in the summertime with the lake drop this low. Normally we get bad nor'easters in the summertime or earlier in the spring and in the summer, uh, early summer. So once we get back here, then I'll get out of the Jeep again and you guys will be able to see where 
the mouth of the harbor goes out where all the walleye charters go out of here at Wild Wings. And there are a, a, a few other marinas back here that use the same channel, but man, is that low. I'm just gonna pull over here and get out real quick. These are all floating docks that have not been taken out. Okay, so these docks, they don't take out in the winter time. And as you can see, let's see if we can walk down here. This shows you how steep it is going down to there. Normally the water is all the way up to that weed line. All the way up through there is normally, that, that's the area right there where the water should be. And it's going down to there. That's the low this is and it is cold probably well below zero with this wind blowing so we're gonna get back in we're gonna drive along the lake and show you the channel where it goes out into the lake and see how low the lake is over there All right, we'll go on over here. This is dead ends out here. <coughs> Last year, there was a like a thirty foot pontoon boat that had a whole like a like almost like a you could like almost like you could live on it, and it was in the water all year. And I never seen it get pulled out. I was wondering if that was here this year, but it's not here this year. So, all right, we're gonna get out here and walk over here. That is brutal cold. 